In this video, we're going to look at taping for edema of the ankle. When patients have an inversion sprain, they tend to have a lot of swelling present for maybe a few days, even a few weeks. So if I just identify the areas of swelling, because commonly it's all around the actual ankle, even down to the distal part of the toe, so you can get all this massive swelling and bruising around here. So we prepared two eye strips that I've cut into five fingers, and we're actually going to tape the edema and the swelling of the ankle. So the pad actually goes towards the lymph nodes, so this pad is going to go towards the ones in the groin, and when we apply the tape, we need to, to work out the distance. So if I started there, the fingers are going to run under the foot and it's no good. So we'll start around here because there's no stretch on the tissue and there's no stretch actually on the tape. So when we break the tape, try if you can just to individually split each of the legs and then just pull off the pad. Then we can apply the first part like the lateral side here. And again, it's a little fiddly, but it's worth it once you move these fingers out of the way. So the first one is with little to no stretch, just bring it around the lateral malleolus like so and just finish like so. And the second one, if you, if you notice, I've also trimmed the ends of the fingers. So it takes a little bit of time, but again, it's all worth it in the end. So I have a little gap now. So from there, and we can just literally just lay that one down. And that's the second one, so let's go for the, the third one. And then lay that down like so, and the fourth one, and then the last one, like so. So that's the first part done. Now the second one, the fingers are going to cross over the first lot. So again, like I showed you in the first application, split each finger, and then peel that backing off. So now we're going to go from more the medial side. And then let's do this outer finger first. So from there, and then literally just lay that down with little to no stretch. It's a lot easier when patients actually have swelling because you tend to tape directly over where the swelling is located. Onto the third one, like so. If you've got the tape too long, it will start to drift under the foot. So bear that in mind when you prepare the tape. And the last one, you can actually apply the tape medially as well as lateral, because the bruise intends to be on the inside as well. So using the back of the tape, heat activate the glue. And we can leave our on, like explained, for three to five days. And we can actually ice as well over this area. More instructional videos by John Gibbons can be viewed on his YouTube channel and visit the Bodymaster website for further information about the Bodymaster method. Here you will also find information about courses John runs and books he's written, which are available to purchase through Amazon.